Tonight is April the 7th. It's 25 past two in the morning and I'm whispering because the wife's upstairs. But what makes tonight so special is that not only do we have a super moon, but we also have a super pink moon. So tonight the moon is going to be the closest to Earth that it's going to be throughout the whole of 2020. So I'm going to take this opportunity to give you guys a crash course on how to photograph the moon. Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. Right, let's go through a checklist. Number one, of course, the camera. Well, I've got a half decent camera on here, but pretty much any camera will do. The most important part of this rig or this setup is a decent lens or certainly a long lens. So I'd recommend that you put on your camera the longest lens that you have. In the instance, in this instance, I'm using a Canon 100 to 400 mil lens, but I'm also using my Times 2 teleconverter on there as well. So in essence, my lens now is 200 to 800 mil, but you certainly don't need an 800 mil lens to take a good photograph of the moon, far from it. If I put my 70 to 200 mil lens on there, it would work perfectly fine. Next in the checklist is a tripod. A tripod is not essential. You don't need a tripod to shoot decent pictures or to take decent pictures of the moon. But if I'm going to be out there for half an hour, this is quite weighty, it'll just help me. So next on the checklist is to ensure that you fire in manual mode. Don't try and use any of the semi-automatic modes and certainly don't try and use the automatic mode. I definitely, definitely don't recommend it. And the reason being is because there's so much contrast in light up in the sky right now. In other words, we've got a super, super bright moon and we've got a very black sky. So the contrast in light there or the contrast between the light and dark will generally play havoc with your camera metering system. So I definitely, definitely 100% recommend that you shoot in manual. If you've never shot in manual before, then just try setting your camera up like this. There is such a thing as a Luna 11 rule. That simply means, watch, switch your camera to manual, switch your aperture to F11, then all you need to ensure is that your shutter speed equates your ISO. So if you're shooting at 200th of a second, then put your ISO to 200. If you're shooting at a thousandth of a second, then set your ISO to 1000. It's that simple, but I suggest you use that as a guide. See what it's like. If you need to um, tickle the settings ever so slightly, then just adjust your shutter speed. Slow it down to make the moon brighter. Increase the shutter speed to make the moon darker. So my final bit of advice is to also set your lens onto manual focus. Lens, manual focus, and if possible, use the live view on the back of the camera to, uh, on my particular live view, I can zoom in times 10. So now looking at the live view, I can see a real close up view of the moon and then simply grab the focus ring and very slightly adjust it until you get the clearest picture and you're ready to go. So just try and set your camera up by using the Luna F11 rule. F11 and make sure your ISO equates to your shutter speed. So if you want to handhold while if you want to handhold your camera while taking a picture of the moon, then obviously I'd opt for something like uh, 800th of a second or maybe a thousandth of a second, in which case you'll then switch your ISO to 800 or a thousand. So that way that's that should be perfect. Um, if you need to adjust it ever so slightly, then of course adjust it by either dropping or increasing your ISO or simply slowing down or increasing your shutter speed. That's it. We'll go outside into the garden and get ourselves set up. It's now five past three in the morning. 
fine tune in my settings. I'm now at ISO 500. My shutter speed is at 800 of a second. I wanted a faster shutter speed even though it's on a tripod because it still looks a bit shaky. There's not much wind and it's quite clear so I shouldn't really have any problems with that. And my aperture is at f11. So f11, 800 of a second and I've fine tuned my ISO so my ISO is now at 500. 30 minutes, let's see what we end up with. Okay, well that's it, that's me done and that's it, I'm off to bed. Thank you very much indeed for joining me and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this crash course on how to photograph the moon. Cheers.